This record snow has caught pretty much everyone in Spokane off guard, including city leadership, which now has to figure out how exactly they're going to pay for all this cleanup. New at 6, 4 News Now reporter Taylor Graham breaks down what's next for city crews. Well, as you heard Mayor and Katarina mention, I don't think any of us expected all of this when we woke up this morning. But city crews say thanks in part to a windstorm that whipped through Spokane in 2015 and our most recent storm, they were actually able to get to work pretty quickly last night. And they're going to be busy for a while, but they say there's plenty that you can do for help while you wait for them to get to your block. Crews have worked through the evening, working really hard to uh, try to make the city safe. And there's no end in sight for those city crews who had 150 reports of down limbs and trees overnight and into this morning. Made it kind of a uh, little bit of a challenge with some of the snow coming down as well. Uh, a lot of the leaves were on the trees still, so I think that added to the weight that was, was dragging some of the limbs down. It's not like they haven't seen this before. They've just never seen this this early on. Back in 2015, a windstorm ripped through Spokane, uprooting countless trees. That stuck with the city, which invested in generators and chainsaws back then. Cut through the damage today. Plus, snow plows were able to get to work right away, ready a month ahead of schedule. Normally, we'll convert the snow plows in a month in November, so we've converted some trucks early from the uh, previous storm. All that's going to cost the city, which is now looking at dipping into its reserve fund to pay for the cleanup. But the city is hoping they're not alone in this. They say you can help crews too. As a reminder, don't push those things out, out into the streets. The crews are coming through and cleaning off everything from the streets and the right of ways, but we do have an outlet for you. The city will be taking debris from your property for free at the waste and energy plant for the next 10 days. While crews chip away at the damage. There's a there's a resiliency about this community and also a patience level. They understand they're seeing they're, they understand their neighbors are having the same experience down the street. So it's just been a, a really um, positive thing seeing everyone help each other. Now, those street crews will be out de-icing tonight on what they call a hot spotting basis. So essentially, they're going to be on standby until they get a call about bad roads. So if you see down limbs, down trees, bad roads, you're asked to call 311 or hop on the MySpokane app to report those. Aaron. Good to know. Thank you, Taylor. And here are some of the details about that free city plan to help you get rid of those trees in your yard, just like Taylor was explaining. Starting today through next Saturday, you can dispose of that fallen debris for free at the Waste to Energy facility, which is on Geiger Boulevard. All you have to do is tell the scale clerk that you're throwing away tree debris, and you'll be able to go for free. The normal cost of a clean green disposal is $54.33. That's free for Spokane residents through October 19th. The facility is open every day from 7.30 a.m. until 5 p.m.